Hi, my name is Bart. I'm here with New Life Scientific. And today we're gonna to show you how to change brushes on your centrifuge drive. This motor is specifically out of an RC3 series. However, it's gonna be the same kind of procedure as long as your motor has brushes. Could be your J series, your Allegra 6 series. The only thing you need to worry about is finding where your brushes come in at. So we have this cap here. Sometimes they're hand tight and you can get them free like this one is. Sometimes you need to use a screwdriver right inside the slot. Since it's already loose, I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna undo this connector, which is just a matter of wiggling it about. Loosen it out. And out comes the spring with the wire attached all the way through it to the brush itself. Then you, you would take your, uh, your new brush, which we don't have new brushes right now, but for the procedure, you would put it right back in, just like you took the old one out. You wanna line up these tabs here with the hole, otherwise you'll have problems getting your cap on. And then, complicated part of getting your cap up while keeping your tab still in place. And it can be a little bit of a hassle, but eventually you should be able to get it. Sometimes putting it in the cap helps too. It's all about just figuring out the best way. And there we go. And at the end, you don't really need to tighten this down too much. You don't need to bring your screwdriver over to tighten it. Just hand tight is going to be good. Don't forget to reconnect your connector. And then flip the motor right around. And obviously this will be a little more cramped inside of your centrifuge. And that's why we're doing it on the table today. I just happen to have a motor laying around. Again, same exact procedure as the other side. You're just going to take your brush out and kind of inspect it, see how your motor is doing. You don't want it to be too uh, broken up. You bring your new brush in. Get it right back in place. Do a little dance. Yep. And that one was a lot easier. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. And there you have it. Now you know how to change the brushes. Don't forget to reconnect your connector. Now you know how to change the brushes on your brushed drive. And that'll do it for us for today. So thank you and have a good day.